Hi everyone, today I'm going to introduce you to SkyDrive. Last week I introduced you to Dropbox, which gives you 2 gigs of virtual storage space. SkyDrive is a Microsoft product which is available through Windows Live, so you need a Hotmail account. Um, I urge you that after this video you should run out and get yourself a Hotmail account, even if you don't use the email portion, just so you can get the SkyDrive. And here's why. I'm logged into my uh, Windows Live account with my Hotmail account, and I'm going to click on Windows Live here and I'm going to get a couple options. We're going to look at SkyDrive. So SkyDrive is basically a virtual drive and notice here you get 25 gigs worth of storage space. Not two, but 25. That's absolutely insane because now you can share many e-learning modules without needing any dedicated server or even a domain name where you host your own um, training. You could do it right here without having a website. So I have a couple of folders here, and let's click on one. And you'll notice down here it says it's shared with everyone. So if I wanted to create a new folder, let's go back here. I would click on new, but wait a minute. Look at this. I get Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. I can actually create these documents in the cloud. So this is a web-based application. You don't have to have Microsoft Office installed on your desktop. You get limited editing tools, but it still serves the purpose. And we'll look at that in a minute. So let's say I want to create a new, fo a new folder. So we just click on New Folder, give it a name, and then I would change the permissions here. I have the option to uh, make it public and share it with everyone in the world. And all I can do is send them a link. So if I have new people that need to take my training, I can just send them a link and they'll be able to access it with no problem. Or I can do it with friends who are my contacts or friends who are in my contacts. I would just need to add their email address there. I'm going to cancel here and go back. So if I click SkyDrive now, again, it's going to take me back home. Here we go. Now if I click on New, and I click on, let's say, PowerPoint. This is going to open up the um, web-based application for PowerPoint. And you notice, I'm not going to give it a name, but you can name it, and it's going to save it with a PPTX file, which is, which is a Windows 2007 or Office 2007 extension. I'm going to save it. And so it automatically saves your document at initiation, so you don't have to worry about renaming your document. This is where you would do it at first glance. Once it launches, it's going to give me limited editing capabilities, um, but enough for me to do even a basic presentation, which I think is phenomenal, especially because it's free. So you notice you get um, the ribbon here. It's going to tell me to choose a template, which is very cool. And there's a number of templates here you can choose for, or themes as they call them. Let's choose this theme and apply it. There you go. So you have the mirrored effect there. Um, you can copy and paste. You can add new slides. I'm going to ask you, okay, what kind of slide do you want to add? Um, you can duplicate a slide. You can hide a slide. Um, you can uh, ed use your editing tools here for fonts. You have your uh, paragraph uh, settings. You can insert a picture or smart art or a link. Um, and you can view the slideshow, reading view or editing view, you can view notes, um, and then you can basically um, just close the file because it already has the names, it's going to save it automatically. Um, but there's some also, also some additional options here, you can open it in PowerPoint if you had it installed on your desktop. So again, um, I'm going to go back to my SkyDrive. So once I close that file, it would be saved and it would show up on the SkyDrive. I can then move that file right here. I can actually move it into one of the folders, um, or I can download it, I can check the version of it, I could share it, um, I can edit in the browser. Um, anything that I put in these folders, um, what depending on their uh, permissions, would either be open just to myself or to my friends. So again, just by having a Hotmail account, you get a SkyDrive um, and 25 gigs worth of storage space. So go out and get yourself a SkyDrive today.